everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Amanda Ostrander. I am a teacher turned homeschool mom and this is Raising A to Z, a place where we talk about all things homeschooling. And today I'm gonna show you what's inside my morning basket. So this is my morning basket. I started doing morning basket two years ago. It was a, a newer concept and I started doing it and my family fell in love with it. There are a couple different approaches to morning baskets. And I've talked about this before. There are the people who constantly change out their morning baskets. There's things that are different in their morning basket all the time. I am not one of those people. Let me make that very clear. I am not one of those people. I view the morning basket kind of as like a morning getting the brain started to learn kind of basket for both myself and my kids. So when I'm looking at my what I'm putting in my basket, I'm putting things that are going to get us kind of excited, kickstarted, thinking about things. Um, I'm also looking for things where I as a parent don't have to do a lot of thinking because I'm already thinking about math lessons. I'm already thinking about language lessons. I'm already thinking about, you know, what science unit we're doing or whatever. And I'm barely awake, right? Like I've, I've gone for a walk. I've had breakfast, a shower and I'm sitting down and this is what we're doing. Like I'm, I'm barely awake. So I want something that's also going to be easy for me. So, this is the morning basket that I've put together. There are different components. Basically, I have three components in my morning basket. I have the stuff that doesn't change. I have the stuff that does change. And I have the things to keep my kids busy. So I'm gonna go through these today and I'm gonna show you what's in my basket and you guys can build a basket that works for you. But this is what is in my morning basket for right now. Yeah, I just have a basket. By pure happenstance, I found this basket at like a winner's and it fit perfectly into the top of my rolly cart. So I have like a little rolly cart in my dining room where we do our school and this is perfect. It sits right on top. I like having it in a basket because sometimes like we wanna move and like go to the couch or something so I can just pick this up and take it with me. But you do you, put in whatever basket you want, box you want, bin you want, rolly cart, whatever works for you, right? Um, so this is part like this bin goes right on top of my rolly cart and it becomes like part of my, it's like, yeah, it's like the morning basket part of like my little homeschool center, right? So that's it. I have this nice basket. Um, it just pure, like I didn't, I didn't even measure it, guys. It was totally a coincidence that it fit. Um, but yeah, so first off, I have the basket. The first thing I have in my morning basket, we're gonna start with the things that don't change. Okay, I think that's important. The things that don't change. So I've got, let's start with the word of the day. This is one of my favorite activities with my kids. So far, we've just been reading it. This year, I think I'm going to start trying to get them to use it in a sentence, use the word of the day in a sentence. And I love it because one of the things you'll notice as a theme in my morning basket is I love when I it just tells me what to do. So basically, today is September. Let's say it's September 3rd. I open up the date. It tells me exactly what is the word of the day. I don't have to think, I just have to read and I have everything I need. I like that. It gives me something to do, something to read, something to share, but I don't actually have to think about like, okay, what's the next thing I gotta do today, right? Um, similarly, Sing a Song of Seasons is another like go-to for me because it is the same thing. It is a poem a day. So you just find, we're gonna pretend it's September 3rd. So I open up to September 3rd and this is the poem I read. Don't have to think about it. Don't have to do anything. It's right there. Super simple, super easy. And now we've done some poetry, right? Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, so yeah, that is kind of like a theme that I do is basically we, I like books that have a date and it's like, this is what we do on this day. This is what we do on this day. That makes my life really, really easy. Um, other things that I have in my morning basket that I kind of do something similar with. So um, I love these like weird but true books um, or the other one is uh, National Geographic also calls them, they also have something called brain candy. I love these because they're simple, they're easy. And it's basically, I read one spread a day with my kids. I just keep a little bookmark, boom. And this is what we're reading today. Boom. So this one, we finished, we've done two brain candies and I decided to do the Canadian one that just popped up in my feed one day. 
Um, and I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. So this year we have the Canadian. And so I'll open it up and it'll be like, oh, with more than 350 shipwrecks off its coast, Sable Island, Nova Scotia is known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. Boom. That's like a little fun fact. I'll probably, like, and I usually read like the full spread. I just find it works better with my kids, but I don't have to think about it. We've done something historical. We've hit a, a little thing for the day. It's got us thinking. Sometimes it starts sparking questions and we have discussions. Something simple. I don't have to think about that we get going, right? Um, the next thing that I have is kind of the same thing. This is new this year. I picked up this Countries of the World book, which I'm very excited about. Um, there's links for all of this down below if you guys want to do something similar. Um, but basically, it has different spreads every day is a different spread. Isn't that cool? So basically I have like a couple things I can read, a couple things I can talk about. We can do a little bit of geography, just kind of like quick and simple. And we can do this every day, like just a little bit. It doesn't take very long. And this is just going to be kind of the same as the Where We're True. We just kind of do one country a day and just talk about it, learn about it a little bit, get used to saying their names, figure out what continent they're on, that kind of thing. So that's really exciting. I'm very excited. I think my kids are really going to enjoy that. They're big travelers. So they're really knowing and learning a little bit about like where countries are. It's going to be really exciting for them. And the next thing that I always have in my basket is my planner. I, I just find it easy to have it in my basket with me so that as soon as this is done, I can open up my planner and be like, okay, here's what we're doing today. Here's the next lesson that we're working on. And if you are looking for a planner, this might be a great option for you. The Essential Homeschool Planner is a planner that I designed. It is available. Uh, you can get it as a PDF if you prefer to print it yourself. It comes as a PDF. It also comes uh, pre-printed from Amazon. Unfortunately, it does not come in spiral coils. I'm sorry. It comes pre-printed. Um, but you can totally go and take it to Staples and get it spiraled around if you so desire. Or you can just use it as like a regular journal type book. Um, but it is perfect for homeschoolers. It has all kinds of great pages inside of it. Um, I use it to plan my unit studies. It's got stuff to keep track of your budgets. It's got field trip planners, long-term planning, all kinds of stuff in here to make homeschooling a little bit easier for you. I'll show you a couple more spreads. So we got our long-term planning and we've also got like your monthly and weekly spreads. So every planner start month starts with a monthly, a little uh, preview. You have your monthly calendar and then you also have your weekly spread that you can totally customize. They're great for planning ahead. They're also great for planning from behind and just keeping records in. So this is always, always, always in my homeschool morning basket because it is just so, so fantastic. Um, and just such a key part of keeping me organized and keeping my homeschooling simple and moving forward. This is something that I'm doing new this year. I got one of these little table topic um, to go packs. So basically you pick a card and then you read the question and it starts a discussion. So today is, this one is, what was the most fun birthday party you've ever attended? Right, so this is something that we can talk about and we can just kind of like start getting our minds ready to discuss our opinions, thinking about things, getting our, kind of waking up our mouths, waking up our brains, getting us ready to jump into all the learning that we're gonna be doing today. Um, the other thing that I include uh, all the time is a whiteboard. I actually upgraded my whiteboard. If you've ever seen my videos, you've seen that often my whiteboard uh, was different. Um, so I got a new one. I just got it at Amazon. And I like this one because it's double sided. And usually what I do on one side, this, so this is my plan for this year because now it's double sided, which is wonderful. Um, these are just magnets I made using magnetic strip. Whoops. So you just put magnetic strip and I just printed a little label for them. A little colorful orange regular paper. Glue them on with a glue stick. Sometimes your magnetic strip is actually sticky, which is even better. And then um, lesson learned. Last year, some of my magnets were getting a little mucky looking because my kids spilt water on them and like the paper started to go. So I actually just wrapped them in packing tape. 
but what I'll usually do is I do on one side, I'll do today is, I'll do our date in English and in French, and then I'll do like what we're doing on what's the plan for the day. So I'll have, um, let's see, what might be workbooks, then we're going to do chores, I'll do it like on Monday, we'll be baking, um, lunch, quiet time after lunch on quiet, on Mondays, we'd have tea time, then we go outside, and then we have dinner, and they have bath and music at the same time, because their dad does their music lesson. So the one who's in the shower takes a shower, and the other one does the music lesson, and then they switch. So. Boom. And then I'm loving that it's double-sided. So could the other side actually just hold all my magnets for me. So this is, like I said, I'll put like today is Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. Aujourd'hui, c'est uh, mercredi le 4 septembre 2024. Boom. That is kind of like our little calendar time. And then I like even the, the schedule of what's going to happen because then they don't ask me 45,000 times what is happening today. That's what's always the same. What changes in my basket? Basically what changes is the read alouds. Boom. So I have a whole bunch of books that I keep in my morning basket. Um, we're doing space right now. So all my morning basket books are on space. And then it makes it really easy for me to pull a read aloud from my morning basket. And I know that it's gonna be on theme for our month. So like right now I've got Keeper of the Stars, I got a book about the moon, I got a book about Neil Armstrong in here, I've got a Magic School Bus book that I got at the used bookstore. Awesome. So basically, that's what changes every single month is the books. The books change constantly. Um, and that just keeps the morning basket fresh. It also just makes it really easy for me when we're, it's time to read. Uh, and then sometimes I'll add something fun, uh, especially if it's something that kind of goes with our morning basket theme. So this one is because it's the first month of school. I found this at um, Costco. It's one of those I Spy School books, which my kids love. Um, so we can actually do this a couple times. We don't do it every day, but it's kind of a fun activity to kind of do every now and then. Um, so I have, I, have, I have a Christmas one. I have this one. I actually got a Halloween one as well. Um, so sometimes I'll just put this in here and this is just like a fun, like I said, waking up our brain, getting us thinking, getting us making observations, noticing things, and we'll do one or two pages of I Spy. So that's kind of what's going in this month, um, that I don't normally have all the time. I've put in like different card games. I've put in, um, what are they called? They're up there. Professor Noggins, that's what I was looking for. Um, I prefer put those in every now and then if I have one that matches a theme. But for the most part, that's kind of the only thing that changes routinely in my morning basket. The last group of things that go in my morning basket are things that I like to do with my kids to keep them busy while we're doing this. Because sometimes they just, little hands need to be kept busy. Otherwise it just starts to feel long and they feel like they're not doing anything. So if I can have little activities that they can kind of like do independently while they're listening to me read a story, while they're listening to me read a poem, while they're, you know, thinking about what their, you know, favorite birthday they've ever attended, like whatever it is, it just sometimes gives them something to do. So I've got three things that are kind of my go-tos. Number one is adult coloring books. I don't have any in my basket right now because my kids took them. They are going on a coffee date right now with their dad to the coffee store so I can film. Um, so they took my coloring books. Unfortunately, I don't have any currently in my basket, but that's okay. Um, I will put a link to a coloring book. I will say though, I typically find my coloring books at the dollar store at Dollarama. Um, they like the adult coloring books. And then I just keep up like a box of crayons or pencils or markers or whatever nearby. And the adult ones they just find are more entertaining to color. Like, yeah. And you can get some really cool themes too. So that's often in my basket. Not now, but usually. Um, and then I like to keep some small games. So these are kind of two of my favorite games. This is Canoodle. Yeah, Canoodle. This is Canoodle. It is a very simple game. Um, there are, you can find resources for a whole bunch of different games. But what I love about it is the basic simplest concept of the game. Basically you have all these pieces and you take 
you take all the pieces out and you leave like there's different versions of this game that you can play with the set so like we're gonna put this little piece in here and close it shake it up and then you've got to like make all the pieces fit back in it with or try to get as many pieces in there as you can while keeping that piece where it started okay so it's kind of like a tetrisy kind of game um but it is it's super fun it's super easy and it's kind of like i said it's it's not it's not overly complicated but it does get everyone thinking it keeps the little hands busy you can also do puzzles it does have a thing for doing puzzles like vertically as well which is pretty cool not gonna lie and then this is like a super dumb thing but i absolutely love it uh i love this actually has the uh how to put all the pieces back the easiest way right in the lid yeah so you can actually put your pieces back in quickly without trying to be like how do i get them all in it's a really dumb thing and i but i wish more games had that as a thing built in because let me tell you i've put away so many games and it's so hard uh -huh. Yeah, there, and there's a little book to solve it all. Love this. Great game. Um, super fantastic. Kind of on the same note, uh, this is Dogpile. Again, it also has a thing for putting all the pieces back. But it is the same game, but it has a whole bunch of little dogs. It has little, little, they're little dogs that take up space. And essentially underneath, there's different, I'm trying to do this without dropping pieces everywhere. It's not working very well. So Dog Pile is a little bit different in the sense that it has um, cards. So you would draw a card. And then you got to get all the dogs to fit on that shape, which is kind of fun. So the, and there's it's color coded. So like beginner, intermediate, advanced and expert. And then it also does have all the solutions, which is really great. So again, another game that is not overly complicated it's a great solo game so if i have one who's coloring one who needs to do something else with their hands needs something a little more tactile this is another great option for them and uh oops, there's another dog we love it so this is another game that comes in here to keep hands busy while we're working um play-doh would be another great option but zoe gets way too into play-doh so we don't we don't bring the play-doh up because she's a little play-doh obsessed she loves to sculpt so but yeah that is everything that is in my morning basket like i said i pull this out first thing right after breakfast we do this and then um typically they will go get dressed and then we'll start our lessons for the day but it's just a great way to kind of start the morning this seems like a lot but when you do like one page of everything it actually only takes us about 15 minutes to do everything in this basket to do the weird but true the word of the day our sing a songs, our countries of the world, do a picture thing and read a story. It's like maybe 15, 20 minutes if it's a long story. Like it doesn't take long, but we get through so much in that 20 minutes. And even like I sometimes pull out my morning basket as just something to do if I'm like, I know we don't have time to do lessons today because we have an appointment or whatever. But then I actually feel like we've done some like learning and I feel like it like checks a box in my head and then I don't feel like we're not doing school because and like you know you know that the kids don't need to do school every single day I know that we can do a lot of learning through life I understand that but sometimes it's just like you have that little box in your head we're like we didn't do anything today this checks that box because there's so much I know we've done some geography we've done some social studies we've done some language we've done poetry we've done so much that this just gets it going for me so yeah, that's it. That is everything that's in my morning basket. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, click the bell. Consider becoming members. I just upgraded all of my membership statuses um, to basically just one level. Let's make it really simple. You get all kinds of exclusive access. You get early releases on regular videos. You get specialty videos. Um, and you get some really cool members only benefits. So you definitely wanna check that out. Um, and then make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you so much and I will see you guys next week.